Hello there. It's been a while since I last recorded any ASMR content, and so today I thought I'd just make a short talk to let you know what I've been up to, and also tell you about what's coming up in the next month or so. So, if you follow Sounds Curious on Facebook, you'll know that I decided to take a break from making ASMR videos over the summer because I had other projects going on. One of those projects came to fruition in August. It was a 45-minute radio play inspired by the history of the River Thames in London. I've always been fascinated by the history of the Thames, uh, I lived in London for a few years, and um, the Thames is actually a tidal river, which means that at low tide um, it recedes quite a long way out, and that means that there are great big banks, or beaches really, of shale that are exposed at low tide. And when I lived there, I used to really enjoy walking on the Thames beach and picking up little bits of blue and white china, or sea-washed glass, or strange little pebbles, or just fragments that you find down there on the shoreline. So, as some of you know, in my real-world life, when I'm not ASMRing, um, I work in the theatre-related industries. I'm a trained actor, and before I went to drama school, my background was as a magazine writer and editor. So I do a lot of writing and directing for the theatre, as well as acting. And I also do a certain amount of audio, because I am a self-confessed audio geek. Sounds Curious, in fact, isn't just meant for ASMR. ASMR has become a big part of it over the last 18 months or so. But uh, we also put out audio plays, very occasionally, uh when we finally have one ready to go. And this summer we did finally have one ready to go, um, about the River Thames. It was based on a live theatre show that I wrote and directed, oof, more than ten years ago now, that went on in the London Docklands. And uh, I thought at the time that it would make a good audio play, and it's only taken the best part of a decade to make it happen. <laughs> But it did happen. It was broadcast on Resonance FM back in August, which was very exciting. And uh, the play is still available to listen to on the Resonance FM website. So I'll put a link in the description below the video in case you want to go and listen to it. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be an ASMR play, but actually... When I was immersed in listening to the many, many edits of it that we did, I actually noticed that uh, I was getting occasional head tingles as I listened. Uh, the play has quite a few sound effects, vocal effects and sounds of the river. And so I think if you're someone who experiences ASMR, you might quite enjoy it. It's a collection of stories that are told from the perspective of objects that have been dropped into the Thames and then washed up on the shore at low tide. And this is where it ties in with my hobby of beachcombing on the Thames. So, uh, for the original show, I collaborated with this amazing mudlark. Um, mudlark is the term for a riverbank archaeologist, I suppose. And the mudlark I worked with, Steve Brooker, is an amazing guy. He's actually registered to the Museum of London, so uh, anything that he finds on the Thames Bank goes there, if it's of historical or um, social import. He's so knowledgeable about the history of the Thames, and he actually lent me some genuine historic objects that he dug up on the river bank over the years. And I used these as the inspiration for creating this series of stories in which the objects themselves come to life. So in the play you hear the story of a Tudor dagger, 
a World War II thimble, an 18th century wig curler, a 17th century witch pot, and a few other intriguing objects. And as each object tells its own story, you sort of have the sense of history passing and an idea of the sort of people who lived and worked on the Thames River Bank through the centuries. So if you enjoy London culture or history, which I know many of my listeners do, hopefully you'll enjoy having a listen. Uh, it's called Found, Objects from the River Thames, and I perform in it myself, along with a cast of very talented and lovely professional actors. The other project I've been involved with over this summer Uh, well, ever since the spring, actually, is a really amazing endeavour by a company called Beyond Shakespeare, who are based in the UK, and who have taken it upon themselves to unearth all the plays that were written in the Tudor era that aren't Shakespeare. So when we think of that era in drama, we do tend to think of Shakespeare, obviously. He's the big famous guy that we've all heard of. But um, the end of the 16th century in particular saw a real explosion in theatre in London and uh, touring theatre as well across England. And uh, it was an incredibly rich era for playwrights and performances. There are lots of really compelling and rather wonderful plays that were written in that era, especially in the 1580s, 90s and 1600s and many of them are anonymous, all there by playwrights who simply haven't had the attention that Shakespeare's received. Um, Some of them are more well-known, people like Christopher Marlowe and Ben Jonson, Um, but there are others like George Peel, John Marston, and Robert Greene, who, um, to be honest, I'd never heard of (laughs) till I started doing this project. And uh, ever since April, I've been taking part in play readings to help rediscover these plays. And uh, they're all put up on YouTube. The readings tend to be done by a mixture of actors and academics. And we stop every couple of scenes and discuss the play. So it's quite an accessible way of getting into the text. And again, if you love theatre or you love British history, especially Tudor history, I would really recommend having a listen to them. There's also an amazing podcast which has been going for quite some time uh, that has a lot of really fabulous recordings on it. So that has been keeping me busy over this year and consequently I haven't had any time to do any ASMR talks. However, I do remember promising back over the summer that I would return to the ASMR and record some more talks this autumn for you. So I have. Um, I'm in the process of making four new talks. One is about a very curious and fascinating museum, and it's going to be one of my audio tours where we walk around the museum together. One is going to be about a traditional cosy pastime that I've been indulging in quite a lot this year, especially during lockdowns, and uh, we're going to be taking a look at the history of that. One is about a very famous ballet and the uh, story that lies behind it. And the final one is about an even more famous figure who, um... I'm not going to mention, but let's just say he's got festive connections. And uh, that talk will be coming out in the run-up to Christmas. These will be my last four ASMR talks for a while, I'm afraid. Um, They do take such a long time to do. There's so much research and writing and recording and editing that goes on behind each talk that I make that... um. They take up a lot of time. So while I really enjoy doing them, and really enjoy connecting with you through them, 
I've decided it's a good time to put the ASMR on the back burner and focus instead on um, other audio projects. This doesn't mean that Sounds Curious is going to disappear, of course. The channel will still be here, and I will upload content to it every so often, just to let you know what I'm doing and uh, add any snippets of audio or video that I've been involved with. But um, for now, at least, this will be the end of the ASMR adventures. There will be other audio adventures, fear not. Um, I know I do have some really supportive and delightful listeners who have been so wonderful over the last mm, nearly two years in um, encouraging me and um, <laughs> egging me on to make these videos. So uh, it would be lovely to keep in touch with you, and you'll be able to find me on Facebook if you search for Sounds Curious, and uh, I also have a Sounds Curious Twitter account, although I'm afraid I'm really bad at keeping up with it. <laughs> yeah, I, I tend to post on there about once every three months, I think. I'm a bit rubbish, so I apologise about that. If you want to catch up with me, um, Sounds Curious on Facebook is the place to do it. Or you can track me down via the Sounds Curious website. I'll put the link in the um, description below the video. Anyway, for now, there are still four more ASMR videos to come. So I hope you enjoy listening to those and that they help you to sleep. And uh, I just also want to take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone who subscribed and listened over the past 18 months, two years. I hope you stick around to discover what audio adventures I get up to next. And uh, it's been a privilege to be able to talk to you. Thank you so much for your company. Goodbye.